Hi kids, welcome back. My name is Sunshine and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I'm back with another Profit Picks video for you. These are items that I've sold between September 13th and the 19th. I My sales are kind of picking up, but there's some days where they're just bombing. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm grateful for any sales that I did get. So let's start on the 13th. I had a few sales. First item to sell was on eBay. And it was this new Free People Orange Dancing Till Dawn crop top in a size small. I picked this up at least a year ago at TJ Maxx. Paid up for it, paid $11 for it. I couldn't find a stock photo for it, and I couldn't get a good picture of it on Twiggy, my mannequin. So, I originally probably had it listed for $35, kept lowering the price, got tired of looking at it, had it priced probably at $25, Someone sent me an offer of 12. Hallelujah. You can have it, even though I lost money. It's out the door. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay. And it was this Crazy Horse Strike tunic sweater in a size 3X. I picked this up at Goodwill, paid $3 for it. It was beautiful. Get it home and find out that it has two pit holes. So I, they weren't real big, but they were underneath both pits. Really weird. So I ended up sending it out to auction for $1.77. That's what it sold for. Yeah, but you know, I'm not going to repair it. So rather than re-donate it, I get at least part of my money back. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay. And it was this new in box Noah's Ark baby memory book. I picked this up. At a small thrift store not too long ago, paid $2 for it. In fact, I picked up two, and this is the second one to sell. And I had it listed for $24.77, and that's what it sold for. I'm not even sure they're making these anymore because everything's digital, but it didn't seem to be vintage, so I'm glad somebody's going to get some use out of it. I remember those baby books. But we used to get them with green stamps. We used to get them free. We'd save up green stamps from Big Bear. That tells you how old I am. Okay. Next item to sell was also on eBay. And it was this Time and True button v-neck tunic top in a size extra large. I picked this up at a small thrift store. Paid $3 for it. Had it listed for $15 or $20. And I was trying to make some sales that day. So when someone sent me an offer of $10, I gladly accepted because after all, we are moving out of summer and I really don't want to store it through the winter. Okay, next item, I was so happy it sold. I picked this up at a small thrift store a while ago, paid $3 for it. I just thought it was so unique. So it was this Pappy Boas hand-painted, layered look, vintage midi dress in a size medium-large. So it looked like it was two separate pieces. It looked like it had the top and then the skirt, but it was actually all one piece. And it was sleeveless. It was hand painted. It was beautiful. So I had it listed for $29.77 and that's what it sold for. Okay, then we're going to move on to the 14th. I had a few sales and the first item to sell was on eBay. And it was this Dickies brown leather Gold star, okay, there were silver conchos with gold stars on top. Leather belt in a size 42. I picked it up at Goodwill, paid $3 for it. Didn't, you know, Dickies isn't a real big brand, but because it had those star conchos, I thought it was so unique. I wanted to pick it up and try it out. So I had it listed for $25, ended up sending out an offer to Watchers for $19.93, and someone accepted. The next item to sell was also on eBay, and it was these Gloria Vanderbilt Amanda Camo High Rise Shorts in a size 18W. I picked these up at my honey hole, paid a dollar for them, just because they were camo print and in a good size. And there are people out there that love Gloria Vanderbilt jeans and shorts, and they know how they fit. So anyway, I didn't have it listed too long when I kept getting $10 offers. And it's like, yeah, no, I just listed it now. So I had it listed for $25 and ended up sending out an offer to Watchers for $19.93 and someone accepted. Next item of sale was on Poshmark and it was 
this Disney and Vans collab, tie-dye nightmare crop hoodie in a size extra large. It had um, Vans spelled out in bones across the front. And then if I remember correctly, it also had a graphic on the back. Really cool, unique piece. I picked this up at Goodwill not too long ago, paid $5 for it. Had it listed for 40, kept getting low ball offers. It's like, no, no, I'll sit on it until I get my 40. Surprisingly, someone bought it out right on Poshmark for $40. Okay, next item to sell is on Macari. So it was these 34 pieces of Valentine stickers that I picked up in one of those junk baggies that you get at Goodwill. Because in that, I found some, you know, more expensive uh, stickers. So I, I took these out and put them up for sale for $25. And somebody on Macari messaged me for some reason, she couldn't purchase the items and I couldn't figure out why. She's in Alaska and I'm like, I have, it's not like she's overseas or somewhere. So come to find out, I never knew this and I've been reselling for years. I never knew that FedEx did not ship to Alaska. I don't think UPS does either, only the mail. So I told her, I go, it's going to be a lot more expensive if, you know, but the post office will ship it to you. She goes, that's okay. So she ended up paying $12 to get these shipped to her, whereas if she, you know, had lived down here, it would be eight. But anyway, I had them listed for $25. That's what she purchased them for. And I'm only into them for $3. So that was a good flip. Okay, then we're going to move on to the 15th. I had a few sales. First item to sell was on eBay, and it was this vintage fitting image patchwork denim shirt in a size 1820. I picked this up when I was on vacation, so I'm into it for $4. Had it listed for $20. Someone sent me an offer of $15, which I gladly accepted. What I'm trying to do with those pieces that I picked up for on vacation is pay for my whole trip. So I'm keeping a running tally and eventually I'll post a video on it and we'll see if I made my goal. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay and it was the Saks Fifth Avenue wide leg linen pants in a size extra large. I picked these up at the Salvation Army, paid $4 for them not too long ago. Had them listed for $25. Someone sent me an offer of 19, which I gladly accepted. Next item to sell was also on eBay. And it was a Sea Waves half zip rash guard swimsuit in a size XXL. I also picked this up at the Salvation Army for $4 a few months ago. And I picked it up because it was so unique. It zipped down the front. It had short sleeves. It was a one-piece bathing suit, but it had the UPF protection material. And because it had short sleeves, that's a rash guard to me. So I just thought it was really unique. I haven't seen anything like it since. I had it listed for $30, ended up sending out an offer to watchers for $24.93, and someone accepted. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay, and it was this vintage Playtex long line front clothes bra in a size 44C. I picked this up when I was on vacation. For those that you haven't seen my haul, I will link it up here. And you can go see what I picked up because eventually I'm going to do a follow-up uh, video on it. So anyway, I had this listed for $35. And because it had some yellowing on it from age, it wasn't from use. It was just, you know, from age. I sent out an offer to watchers for $29.93 and someone accepted. Okay, next item is I was on Poshmark. And it was these Vintage Route 66 Raw fringe waist, sandblasted jeans in a size 24W. I picked these up a long time ago. It's probably been a year. Paid $3 for them at Goodwill because they were so unique. The waist was raw and it had fringe all the way around the waist. And then it had like this embroidery like this down both legs. It was just really unique. I'd never seen anything like it. So I had it listed, uh, I want to say originally for $30.00 kept lowering the price. So when it got down to 25, someone sent me an offer of 22, which I gladly accepted. And what's ironic is she had these back in the day and hers wore out and she had been looking for another pair. 
So I love selling unique pieces like this to people that, you know, want to replace the ones they had. Really cool. Glad that she let me know that. Okay, next time to sell was on Macari. It was an awesome, awesome sale. So I picked this up at the Salvation Army, paid $2 for it. It was this vintage pro player, Arizona Diamondbacks, snake t-shirt in a size large. Arizona Diamondbacks is our local team, and it also had written 1993 underneath the graphic, and I bought it because the graphic was amazing. The snake and everything, it was just amazing. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to sit on this forever like I do most of the Arizona merchandise that I pick up. But I didn't know how to price it because I'm not into vintage t-shirts. So I went ahead and listed it for $50. And surprisingly, somebody purchased it for that on Macari. I hope he loves that. I could find no graphics like that anywhere on eBay that had sold or that was listed. So he got maybe a one-of-a-kind piece. Okay, then we're going to move on to the 16th. I had a few sales. Time for a drink. And the first thing so was on eBay. And it was these Wrangler Q Baby embellished snow gap jeans in a size 7, 8 by 34. So I picked these up at Goodwill, paid $2.50 for them. And I had good luck selling the last pair I got, which was also the same size. So I listed these the same for $24.77, and that's what they sold for. Okay, the next sale was also on eBay, and it was this Woman Within Embroidered Henley Thermal Top in a size 2X. I picked this up at Goodwill, paid $3 for it, had it listed for $25. Someone sent me an offer of $20, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item sale was also on eBay, and it was this Tommy Bahama Tinsel Embroidered Three, four sleeves, tunic top, and a size large. I picked this up at Goodwill, paid $5 for it, had it listed for $30. Someone sent me an offer of $26, which I gladly accepted. This was really cool. The material, you know, the linen, it was great. Then it had all the pretty embroidery around it. Really unique, because I usually don't pick up Tommy Bahama. Okay, then we're going to move on to the 17th. I had a few sales. First thing to sell was on eBay, and it was this Valerie Stevens purple floral caftan in a size large. I picked this up when I was on vacation, paid $2 for it, got it home. It looked to be brand new. Got it home under further inspection. I wondered why the pockets were out when I bought it, but, you know, sometimes people wash them and they forget to put the pockets back in. So I get home, inspect it, and there's rips in both of the pockets underneath. I mean rips. It wasn't just a little hole. It was ripped. So I ended up sending it out to auction for $3.77, and that's what it sold for. So I got most of my money back. Okay, next item to sell was on Macari, and it was this Wacol Embroidered Lace Renaissance Rose Bra in a size 40D. It was beautiful. The color was beautiful. The lace is beautiful. Now I know why those Waco bras are so expensive. Because of all the intricate work they put in them. So I picked this up at Goodwill. Paid $5 for it. Probably had it listed for $35 or $40. And it just sat for months. So when somebody sent me an offer of $27, I gladly accepted. She got a good deal on that bra. Because I think they retail for like $60. Okay. Next item sell was also on Macari. And, oh, okay. This is one, this person on Macari just kept sending me offers one night, and I kept accepting them. And she must have uh, done this like six times, and I'm wondering why she didn't message me to put them all in a bundle for her or whatever, but maybe she's new, I don't know, but I just kept accepting offers. And then what I did was, because I didn't, I thought maybe she's like my friend Patty, shout out to Patty, who likes to get uh, packages in the mail. So I thought, okay, I'm going to split these up where I can ship some of them to her one day and some of them next. So I waited to accept some of her offers till the next day. Anyway, so we are going to get into the first item she purchased. So uh, it was this vintage two potato color block midi dress in a size extra large. I picked this up for $3 when we were on staycation, and I had it listed for, she came pretty close to what I had these listed for, 
So I'm thinking I probably had it listed for $20. She sent me an offer of $17, which I gladly accepted. The next item, she didn't purchase, but we'll get more of hers. Okay, so the next item to sell, thank you, Jesus, were these Squeeze Girls size 10 T jean shorts. They were embroidered and embellished. So I picked these up in a, I got these in a thread up denim box, my one and only. I mean, it's probably been at least a year. For those of you that want to see it, I will link it up here. Yeah, <clears throat> really bad box. So I think I was into each piece for probably $4. I had these listed forever at 10. No, uh, nobody was even, you know, interested. So I ended up uh, sending out an offer to watchers for $2.93. And hallelujah, somebody purchased it. So glad to see those go. In fact, my other um, children's piece I got from that box, I think, went in the same uh, week. We'll have to see. Okay, next item to sell. We're back to that wonderful lady. Let me see what her first name is. Her first name is Amy Noel. Oh, what an angel. Okay, so the next item she bought was this Roman's seersucker button front striped tunic top in a size 22w had this i picked this up on vacation paid two dollars for it had it listed for 25 dollars. she sent me an offer of 20 which i gladly accepted that's what i'm saying all of her offers were pretty reasonable so the next item she purchased was the other vintage two potato dress color block maxi dress and this one was one size so I picked this up on staycation, paid $3 for it, had it listed for $25. She sent me an offer of $22, which I gladly accepted. Then she purchased this Maurice's Brown embroidered 3-4 sleeves peasant top in a size zero. It was beautiful. It was brown, had the embroidery. It had longer sleeves, but it was still a peasant top. Had it listed for... Oh, I picked it up at Goodwill, paid $3 for it, had it listed for $25. She sent me an offer of $20, which I gladly accepted. Okay, now we're going to move on to the 18th. I had a few sales, and this is where I split her sales up so that she could, you know, get packages on different days. So these are on Macari. First thing she purchased was a Collections Etc. Seersucker Embroidered Zip Front House Dress in a size extra large. The colors on this were amazing. They were all pastel, but the stripes, they were just beautiful. So I picked it up on vacation, paid $5 for it, had it listed for 20. This may be the one I accepted a lower offer on. So I could have had it listed as high as 30, but because she had bought all that other stuff, when she sent me an offer of 20, I gladly accepted rather than counter. Next item she purchased was this new with tags. I can't read my writing. Oh, Winlar Seashells Ombre Caftan in a one size. Beautiful. Oh, the ombre going down and then the seashell print. It was just amazing. So I picked it up at a small thrift store, paid $4 for it. Had it listed for $30. She sent me an offer of $24, which I gladly accepted. And then the last item she purchased was this Bob Mackie Hawaiian silk shirt in a size large. This is the one that had the um, cockatoo on it, the monkeys, the pineapples, the whole nine. So I picked it up at a small thrift store, paid $2 for it, had it listed for $50, but because she had purchased all those other items, when she sent me an offer of $32, I gladly accepted I hope she enjoys all her packages. I tried to use different packages, you know, different envelopes. I hope she really enjoys it. Okay, so the next item to sell was on eBay, and it was this Peanut Snoopy Joe Cool Scrub Top in a size 3X. I picked this up at a small thrift store just recently, paid $4 for it, and then you guys have heard me say how I can't sell a scrub top for anything. I could barely give them away. Well, I had this one listed for... $20, someone sent me an offer of 18 which I gladly accepted. I guess you just have to get the right ones, but I still have the Nightmare Before Christmas one up. Okay, next item sell was also on eBay, and it was this these Marika, what does LW mean? 
a lightweight, <laughs> stretch, adjustable, hiking, active pants in a size large. Picked these up at a small thrift store, paid $4 for them. Had them listed for $25, ended up sending out an offer to Likers for $19.93, and somebody purchased them. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay. It was this new without tag, simply basic floral flannel nightgown in a size large, granny core, beautiful heavyweight flannel. Just beautiful quality. I had it, or I picked it up at a small thrift store, paid $6 for it. Had it listed for $34.77, and that's what it sold for. It was well worth that. It probably was worth more. Okay, next time so was also on eBay, and it was the Sealed Polish Folk Art Playing Cards. Picked these up at a small thrift store for a dollar, wanting to try them out, because I have luck on some of these playing cards that I know nothing about. So I had them listed for $15.00. Ended up sending out an offer to Likers for $12.93, and somebody purchased them. And I still don't know what they are. They're some kind of folk art playing cards. <laughs> okay, next item is sell was on Poshmark. It was this new with tags, full beauty Lycra splash swim shorts in a size 12. I've had these forever doing retail arbitrage. I am into them for $15. Okay, so I probably had them listed for $30, ended up sending out an offer to Likers for $23.50, which included the discounted shipping, and someone accepted. Okay, I'm just glad to get them out. Next item to sell was on eBay. It was this Vintage America Hartford. What do I have? Pen. Thermal, t oh, pink. <laughs> pink thermal shirt in a size extra large. Picked this up at a small thrift store a while ago, paid $3 for it because I love picking up thermals because I wear them and I, you know, sell them. They're good bread and butter pieces for me. So I had it listed for $20. Someone sent me an offer of $15, which I gladly accepted. Okay, then we're going to move on to the 19th. I had a few sales and I sold a fig. I can't even remember his name now. The guy that I used to watch all the time, him and his wife, I sold a fig. Okay, so this was a Bondi Ben 10 Alien Force Gel Goop figurine. Picked this up in a Goodwill junk bag, so I'm into it for a quarter. This piece was amazing to me, and I'm not into that stuff. It was like green gel, gooey, alien-like, and he was articulated, so his arms and legs moved. Really cool piece. So I had it listed for $20, got a lot of attention. In fact, a lot of people purchased it, and then they never paid for it. So I sent out an offer to Watchers for $15 and someone accepted. And what's even better, they paid for it. Yay. Cool piece. Really like that. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay. And it was the these Oshkosh Toddler Ribbon Rose Jeans in a size 2T. I also picked these, or I also got these in that Thread Up Denim Rescue Box. So I'm into it for $4, could not get rid of these. And they're Oshkosh, and they were really cute with the ribbon rose belt. I don't understand. So I ended up sending them out to auction for 77 cents, and that's what they sold for. But hallelujah, they are out the door. I think I have one more kid's piece to get rid of. And it's not from that denim rescue box. <laughs> okay, because I picked these up thinking they were uh, teens, and they weren't. They're girls. Okay. Last item to sell was on eBay, and it was the these new direct or this new directions denim midi dress in a size medium, really pretty embroidery, unique. So it had like jungle animals, had like zebra, a camel, I think a rhino on the front. Had I picked it up at a small thrift store a while ago, paid three dollars for it. Had originally listed probably for twenty five, lowered it to twenty. And ended up sending out an offer to Watchers for $14.93, and somebody purchased it. Okay, kids, that's my sales for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up so I know you like these videos, and consider subscribing. Hope everybody's having a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.